Hi, good afternoon. This is Mary Kit from Mary Kit Studios, and this is a new sketch I'm working on for to test this um, Copic paper. It's a Copic A4 special paper number six um, for art media trading. It's an A4 size, and it comes in 60 sheets per pad. It's 157 um, GSM, which is a very fairly thick consistency. And it's retailed at 520 pesos per pack. Anyway, um, a lot of people were asking me how I ink, so I'm going to do this to test the paper with inks first. And then later, we'll be testing the paper with um, Copics. Um, I'm going to be doing a partial inking for now, so you just you can see, just see the techniques. And you can just see how it holds up the paper, and then after um, after a while, I'll go straight to a finished up uh, inking, and then we'll go straight to color. Anyway, I'll be using the Pashikal G pens for manga. I have the E F and the F. The F is the fine. It's a G pen, a portable G pen. It's black and it's 0 0.2 to 0 0.5, so the minimum size of the um, of the line will be 0 0.2 or less, um, and up to the biggest line size will be 0 0.5, which is probably what you want for manga. And then there's also the extra fine, which is only goes up to 0 0.2, so those are nice for the fine lines, especially on this character, which is pretty much detailed. Um, the sketch, before you ink, you have to prepare, you have to have, be in a well-lit room, so you don't ink over shadows or things and get, don't make mistakes so you can easily see your work, your sketch work. I penciled it in with a Karandi Ash Sketcher, non-photo blue pencil, um, I bought it from Japan, so I'm hoping um, art media trading starts to carry it because I'm running out and um, after um, finalizing your sketch and cleaning it out with your erasers um, make sure that you're in a well lit room your, your um, drawing board your drawing is firm placed on as mine I have a drawing board but I also have this one. It's an art board. And you see, I can I have paint all over it already, um, which I could stick the paper in for um, for inking. As long as it's a good solid surface and the paper would not move, um, it's better if it um, if you're it's the board that moves and not your paper so it has to be stable um, also make sure that you have your materials next to you so I have my pen so you don't have to keep on standing up and uh, a good chair for a proper posture and good lighting so if you have a lamp turn it on it's, since it's a nice day it's I love inking in natural light so we're going to start inking now. Um, those are my tips for inking and make sure you um, do all those. For now I'm going to start inking the girl and she's I'm a little scared of inking her so I'm going to start with her eye. These tears are the eyes are the window to the soul. This fantasy sketch is actually came out of a dream of mine. I was in Candyland and this was one of the people I saw there. She's a huntress. And do you imagine how cute things are in Candyland? Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to magnify this character this um, series but it's amazing for illustration mm. 
as you can see, I'm using the EF right now. Okay, it's really fine. The eyes are really great. And you have to keep in mind, if you're going to color in your work, do not over hatch or over detail. Okay, so you have room for your colors. Well, I can't get over ink line, so let's just be careful with that. And I'm doing lines like inside the eye. Good. I find the eyes a little lacking, so so as you can see, I don't know if you see that very well. I'm gonna zoom in a little, and uh, I hope it doesn't wiggle on me. The E F. really does well with the line and the paper is amazing for the ink I mean it's smooth enough that my lines can easily get to where they I want them to be it doesn't kick my um, eat up my I mean my pen doesn't eat up my paper and it's a good thing because it's a nib pen and paper rough paper tends to get stuck in it if it's not properly done so this one really doesn't have a problem with that it's smooth enough that my pen just glides through over it how do they say it again? like butter <laughs> I'm like skating over this thing Lashes in the bottom, and with the EF, I could easily do my line, my line work. I'm hoping I can zoom in without holding the thing. Let's see. Um, give me a second to zoom in. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, I'll try to ink as close to the camera as possible so you can see. Um, alright. And it's a little blurry. Probably the clearest I can go. So anyway, there you go. I'm inking as close as possible to the camera. So let's see. I'm trying not to over ink this. So good luck. I've been an artist since I don't know how much I how long I remember, but um. Probably since I was a child, at all I haven't really. I have asthma, so whenever my cousins are going to play out, I have my book and sketch pad and coloring book, and that kept me company while they were all playing. <laughs> it's not a sad life; it's just probably got me to where I am right now. Anyway. I think I want to use thicker lines for the ears. Anyway, so also when inking, make sure you define your oh that's beautiful. Your um. your lines well.
I would be you want to know where things start and end so if this is the this is the end of the hill I would define it a little bit more than I would the middle Don't worry about being too sketchy. Some to some people it's a style. To some people, people some people doesn't like sketchiness. I love sketchiness. It just gives that natural look to the art. But I'm trying to do clean lines here, so I can I'll see if I can color bo it both in digital and see how fine those lines are. This is the the F. And that's probably the point too, or the thinness is in that. I'm even thinking this is less than a point two. Probably is somewhere between point zero zero five. It's just gorgeous. And I'm thinking those numbers are the average line width it creates rather than the biggest line width. Here's the darker eyelash and eye. Okay, she has a face now. Don't ask me her name because I really don't know. I haven't named her. Hopefully, do the naming ceremony after the fact. Or when I've inked most of the characters. And no, that's not poop on her head. It's a hat. Very strange hat, but it's a hat. For this, and I'll be proud of this effort. I'm hoping to do this all in time lapse. pretty. Alright, well, you've seen some of it and, well, some of my techniques. Her ears would show. I'll give her a little shadow on her.
Okay, there's two. She said, we always have a spare piece of paper next to you. You can blot out your pen, try out strips before you do. Leave them on your actual art so you don't ruin your art by practicing them. So, that's your art plan. I'm doing simple hatching on the hair, recreating the strand. I can probably do that for this. The classical jewelry or light touch is needed. So don't ruin the pen and don't push your paper too hard. Light is good enough, so it's I have a friend who hates real colors. I don't understand her now. So that's that. I will be finishing the rest of the art. So, Papa, see you later.